Hi everyone. It's uh it's it's butt kicking time. Have you guys ever seen the movie Cool Runnings? Um it was about the Jamaican bobsled team with oh he's passed away, John Candy. Oh my gosh. That is like probably one of my all-time favorite hilarious comedy moving movies. And if you want a good giggle and you have not seen it, find it and go watch it. But they're <laughs> not to be a, a party pooper, but let me just say that that my kids and I quote quote scenes from that frequently. Anyway, howdy, howdy, hey, 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 all that good stuff. Um, I have quite a few topics that I'd like to talk about, but some I need to do a little bit more research on so that I don't sound completely, utterly foolish because, you know, I mean, <laughs> that's just how it is. Um, cause what would Dolly do? She would not talk about something she doesn't know about. My son got me this for Christmas or my birthday. One of the two. Anywho, I love Dolly Parton. Let's see. We got Miss Chrissy is in the house. Miss Lori. Oh boy, we got we got we got a, a an Eastern Oregon girl right here, and we have a all the way down to the bottom of the earth Florida Keys girl. Miss Kathy, how are you? Beth, hi. Um. Courtney, how are you? All of Courtney's links are down below, by the way, because I always talk about her side to side. I might as well just put them in there. Ethel, how are you, Ethel? Brett, welcome in. How are you, Rob? Rob is going to be on not next week because next week's Thanksgiving. Um, but I think the week after that, Rob is going to be on. And for those of you that don't know, Rob, for his entire life, for most of it, <clears throat> and still is a watch repairman and a are you a certified gemologist too rob um drop your link in the in the um hike in the anybody that has a link that's not to something bad <laughs> anybody that wants to drop somebody's link um please please do so. I, I always can use help. Um, Jan, my friend Jan that was here last time, her link is also, her link to her channel is also down in the description along with some other information that I'm going to be talking about here. So just know that you can come back and, and then if I talk about anything else, I'll write it down and add it in later or at least attempt to. We have Bob Black, you're new at least new in the chat. I should say that. Welcome in. Um, let's see. Kathy, Kathy, Sue, Babes and Jam were, were, oh, I know. I've talked to her off and on all, all day. Um, Sue is here. Carrie, how are you, Carrie? Jacket Piper. What? Hey, yeah. My friend Amy, Miss Amy, she, um, this is this is Dren's friend's mother, but she's my friend. She's my friend first. That's all I got to say. Is, are are the the kiddos with you there too? Um. Ah, oh, there she is. I knew she'd pop in. I don't see snow up to the window yet. Oh, I made it. I'm sorry, I'm late. No, you're fine. I that's why I said pop in whenever you can. Jan's been preparing for World War Three snowstorm again. Yeah. You're not certified. I know. Yeah, I, I I don't doubt that one bit. Anyway, so so we can take that out of there. But that's been been Ron Rob's life. Wow. Just talked to somebody else named Rob. Ron, Rob, Ron. You're Rob. Rob Junk Monkey. If you guys have watches or um, gems or rocks or stuff like that that you might need questions on, hey, Rob, can you put your Instagram um, link in there too, please, buddy? Give him a, give him a, 
a holler. He also goes live. Or I think he's going live on Sunday nights now. So that's a good way to catch up with him. And I missed KF Stew. How are you two doing? And Janae. Hello, hello. Simi, you're here too. I noticed you're not. Simi is not blue. Changing that right now. Um, Janae, this so now I'm out of order. <laughs> Let's see here. Simi is here. Glenn, howdy doody. Oh, we got Mike is in the house. How are you, Mike? Um, she made it. She made it. I ha I asked Jan to Tina is at Dad's house. Brooke is around. Well, I'll tell them both. I said hi. Michelle is here. Miss Ladonna is here. You guys should follow her on Instagram and see some of the amazing things she gets. Drop your Instagram link in the chat. LaDonna, are you blue? You are. Okay, just making sure. Muriel, how are you? Who else have I missed? Caffeinated Christy. Boy, girl, I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you? A seller hunt. How are you? How are you? You guys are new to the chat as well. Um, there's Rob's link right there, his Instagram link. Good way to get a hold of him. And Tim WC69, hello from Columbus, Georgia. I have been to Columbus, Georgia. <laughs> Cookies Girl is here. Hi, Sherry. How are you? So, all right, that's it. Anybody that's coming in after this, you're cut off. Jan will take care of you. <laughs> Um, because otherwise those of you that know me know, you just know, um, yep. <laughs> so I was having a really, I was telling them before you got here and I was saying my highs that I was having a really hard time trying to decide what to do the show on yesterday. The word for my life was exhausted. Well, I'm just going to probably be exhausted for the rest of my life. And Jan's exhausted today from the snow. And it's only just begun. That's a carpenter song, if you guys don't know. But we don't have we don't have any snowflakes here yet. But there's already about two inches out at the other house, and I I'm not sure what the count is for Buffalo, but they're already in a state of emergency, and they're expecting a minimum of three feet. And you guys think the Pacific Northwest is bad because we have rain. I'll take the rain any day. Yeah. <laughs> is today Simi's birthday? It is. Happy. I'll, I sing to you. Do you want me to sing to you? Because nobody else does. I can tell you that right now. But happy birthday, girl. Oh, that's hilarious. Nobody wants me to sing. Even my grandkids, they're just like, you could just pretend. <laughs> yep, Jan's here. So I, I texted, J well, I didn't text her because usually I'm always talk. I usually v voice message her because I'm driving and <laughs> they said, I don't know what to do the show. Throw me some ideas because I'm just like, I have five or six different, I still haven't finished like the ceramics and the stoneware and the chalkware and I've got porcelain and and a couple other things to do on that I haven't finished that I haven't forgotten you guys on that we're still there you're exhausted you're the founder that's hilarious hello Jody Jody's an enabler just putting that out there I she enables me that. to go to sales that I didn't know about <laughs> Like I need any help <laughs> um, in that category. I don't. Um, anyway, so we kind of brainstormed and I said to Jan, I said, you as a new seller on eBay, what are the things that, you know, so on and so forth. So um, I have two other people that sent me pictures this weekend and I'm in horrible trouble because usually I get right back to them and I haven't. And I, I have got to. Carrie, you're one of them. I know what you have, and I'm sorry I haven't answered you back. Hi, Stitch It. How are you? So, um, and then the Hozax Folly, I don't know if they're in here yet. They may be over at Rachel's channel. A lot of people go back and forth, or some people have are watching Rachel on one 
monitor and me on another or a phone or something like that. So I know there's a lot of people that go back and forth. Um, so the title of today's show is how to research comp and list your items on eBay. And then next week, I got to write this down so I can have the right title. Next week, we're going to do how to store your inventory. You don't necessarily have to store it like mine, but how do you deal with your inventory, your stuff coming in and your stuff that you have listed? So how to, I'm telling you, I'm flying by the seat of my pants with inventory because not everybody is has Noelle, a separate place. Go ahead. Is, is Noelle robotic to anyone else? Is she cutting in and out or is it just me? You have to talk. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was waiting for I was waiting for somebody to answer and it was really quiet. <laughs> nope, she's oh, good. Oh, okay, just me. All right. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go out and come back in. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> Why aren't you guys talking to me? I mean, come on now. <laughs> oh heavens, that's hilarious. So some uh, not everybody is lucky enough to have an area where they store their all of their inventory separately. O almost everybody has a shared space, right? Like I, if I need a banana, if I don't put them where I can see them, they don't get eaten, and I quit keeping them at home because apparently, <laughs> urge squirrel. Not everybody has the ability to have all of this. And, you know, I've had this for years. Of course, I moved it from my garage to here. But um, you're streaming on Turkey Day? Yeah, I, I don't do Turkey Day. So, yep, I'll be here. Everybody will be bored, fat, and, and sassy and, and, and wanting to take a little snoozy. So, so they, can, uh, they can come and, and giggle and laugh. Store and organize my inventory. That's easy every day like an Easter egg hunt. Yeah, I know, huh? Anyway, so and and it doesn't it doesn't mean that how I do it or how you do it or how somebody else does it. It's all and it's all in what we have for space, right? And and I used to I used to get every every tote I could get because I because I fell behind when the phone rang because um what went living on the farm it was dusty and I only want to clean things once if I'm going to clean them. So you'll notice that a lot of my inventory is in bags. They're in bags because even even I don't care where you are, there's going to be um, dust. So most everything that I have after it's been washed and listed, it goes in a bag. And a lot of this stuff is breakables. Obviously, this these shelves right here are breakables and that kind of stuff. And I don't want to put them in a bin because... You don't want to be put in a bin. I am starting to take some bigger ones because I'm running out of space down here and boxing. Let's see. Can you see right there next to the vase? I'm starting to box things up that are that are bigger and are multiple pieces. Um, like I have a couple of sets of. Hey, Joe, how are you? Um, I have a couple sets of. Uh, one set of Delft and one set of made in Portugal porcelain canisters that I bought this last weekend that I have listed and they are going to get packed up because if they don't sell before my shop is done and I move in January, then that it'll be just be that much easier to move them. But there are a preview for next week's show. So now. <laughs> All right. So how to research comp and list. But the first thing is, is where are you getting your items? How are you finding your items? Some people have a heck of a time finding items. Some people don't have any sourcing opportunities in their area, believe it or not, because they live in very rural areas. And if you follow Catherine's flipper, then she shows you how to, to go on the high bid. So I'm not even going to go into high bid or anything like that. I'm just going to send you to somebody who does it. She does it well. 
and she will and you go don't necessarily just go watch cat today and watch a couple of her last videos go way back go back to where she really talks about all that stuff there's there's a lot of good youtube videos out there from great channels that you need to go back in their history you can't just go oh okay i'm gonna go back three months and i'll catch up some of the videos you just really need to go back in the history because they're still pertinent they're what are called evergreen right an evergreen video is is information that really never changes the way to go about doing something changing the air filter on your 1976 ford whatever that's an evergreen video make an egg salad sandwiches with me that's an evergreen video i have a video on that all right so where are you sourcing at let's share this screen and i'm gonna i have links to these down in craigslist is one of my favorite places to source why because there are a lot of estate sale companies that can't afford to use estatesale.net estatesale.org all of those uh um pinto there you go all of those um dot not dot com dot net they are they all charge they all charge a fee right everybody's got to get their nickel or whatever so and when i search when you search on craigslist obviously you're going to go to for sale you're going to go to this is portland my area where i live craigslist and i um these are just what they have listed one through 100 oh boy looky there whole house is oh that's like not uh oh ah i need that uh oh this starts tomorrow oh it started today they're gone i can guarantee it this is what we have this is just craigslist you guys and this is just for today this is what started today this started sale thursday friday saturday everybody always tells me that they don't that these are the estate sales this is an estate sale this is an estate sale and you see all that stuff down below you can only do like 25 pictures on this is just the garage oh i'd love to have those um i don't have anywhere to put them though so where are we at here we're almost this is just the garage so far here's the kitchen look at this you guys and and there's some tupperware right there right there tupperware <laughs> Pillsbury Doughboy, all of these things. That right there is probably Temptations. Um, look at that. You'll never get it, but that's pretty cool. Nice table. A lot of people are just looking at uh, what's in what's did in. Do, did you just go to garage sale? Is that what you went to? I just typed garage sale in, but wait. It's really too bad because I can guarantee you these are gone. But but would you like me to go look for you tomorrow? For the Pyrex? Yeah, the ones that are on the screen there. You have a set. I found them for you at the Meow House. Wait a minute here. Holy man, you think I forgot about it. I know they're not this color. She's pulling. Okay, so... <laughs> So what I do normally, and I, I I do all of this on my phone usually because I never sit down at home, ever. I don't even have anywhere to sit down at home. I've done that on purpose. We have a kitchen table with two chairs. The guys use them. So what I normally do is I type in here, estate sales. Oh, looky, there's more there's more there's more this is this is some of these are way away but it doesn't really matter because this is in eugene salem albany sweet home centralia centralia is north all of these other ones are down in but i'm, I'm telling you most of them are within an hour's drive of me so if i feel here's here's a benton so Lots of times what I'll do is I'll go and I'll look through and see if there's any names of the state sale companies that I know, because some of them will post in here and some of them will just post on the other sales. This one right here has knickknacks. OK, 
Kinnikinax, where's the King City is about a two hour drive. So that's, it's really sad. It's actually right across the, the river, but in order to get there. And you can change your mileage. You can change uh, the one through 61, but wait, there's more. <clears throat> so where's this one? Vancouver, that's me. Washougal is, okay. South, north, west, and east. Washougal is west, east, excuse me. What'd I go? Let's do it this way. North south, east, west. So Washougal is that way. That's where my dad's family was raised. Um, west is, I'm literally, I-5 freeway is right there. The Columbia River is less than a half a mile south of me. The Portland International Airport is literally 10 minutes from me here. So I'm like right, I'm in the best area you could imagine to be in for all of these, for all of these. And Washougal is amazing. And I'm, I'm, I'm honestly only about three and a half hours from Seattle. So, um, Hey, how you doing, Dom? Thanks for coming in. So these, this, this list of 61 estate sales in my area will grow to over a hundred by tomorrow because there will be people that will only sell on Sunday and Saturday and Sunday. It's not blizzarding yet. So then we have estatesales.net. And literally, you just put your, your zip code in there. And it's going to show you, show me all of the estate sales that are happening. Let's see today. Let's go with today. Today is Thursday, so not usually a lot of them, but there's one in Battleground. Sword of military memorabilia. Tomorrow is when is when they're really going to start. Here's that one in Camas, more than likely. Um, and you can you can either look at them on the map. Let's see. There's quite a here. Here's here's quite a few. This. Let's do this. Any of you follow Terry Mindful Recycle? I do. Terry Mindful Recycle is out here in North Plains, right here. I am literally right here. Can you see where the mouse is? Let's let's go one more. I'm literally right here. I'm right there. Oop, right there. That's where I am. Terry Mindful Recycle is right here. Jody is, you're over on the other, Jody's over here. It's dangerous. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, so estatesales.net will have the rusty trunk. Oh my gosh, these guys, these guys, I have sent many 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Let's just look them up because she usually has close to a thousand pictures. So you can go in here and I have sent her sales to several people just so that they can see the different picture descriptions and details. Why does it not say how many pictures she has? But like she takes pictures of everything. Look at there's Corel any, or Corningwell. No, Corel. That's Corel. How so, would I know that? You have some, don't you? Don't you have some of that same stuff? Nope. Don't know what Corel is. How would I research it? Corel? How would, would, I, how would I research, pick something in one of these pictures, and how would I research it? Corel, you would turn, if you're there, or even if you're not there, I would blow this up. On, I would take a screen swipe of this on my phone, um, and I would use Google Lens. I happen to know what it is. Google Lens. I can't use Google Lens on here because I can't show you guys how to use it on my phone. We had that problem last week. That's right. That's so right. if you don't, before Google Lens came about, we had to do this the old fashioned way, right? Right.
Pharrell, which I spelled wrong because why wouldn't I? That's okay. Shop our brands. Corel, Pyrex. I don't want to go here. We'll just go right back here. Corel dishes instead. All right. And let's just go to images. Here we go. This is the one. This is the one that's being that's being shown in that. And this is replacements LTD. Now they want eleven dollars and ninety nine cents each, which is which they will get. But if they don't have them, they'll put. There's lots of times if they don't have what you're looking for, they'll say, "Have us find that piece for you." And then they'll go, "Oh, Farm Girl Scavenger, you have ten of these. Can we buy them all?" And I'll be like, "Sure." And then guess what? They have it for you. That's how that works. That's how they find these things. So if you don't have, if replacements LTD is an amazing place to go and do research because they are going to tell you what it is called, the exact name it's called, the exact, um, what it is, bread and butter plate. And they're going to give you the measurements at the width crafted in the USA, the piece code, the condition, view all the pieces in this pattern. And it's going to come down here and it's going to show you all the different pieces, all the different styles. They, this, These are the original, this set right here. This is what we had when I was a kid. Ours were all white though, because, my, because <clears throat> somebody who did the dishes, I will not admit to that. They got broke a lot. And if it was just an all white pattern, it was easy to replace because they changed their um, pattern. So replacements LTD is an amazing place, is an amazing resource to use when you're comping dishes and collectibles, any dishes. You can, you can, we should go back there. Let's go back here. I should have put them Once down I below. I found out that they had a camera just like Google Lens. It was like my one of my favorite sites. Replacements? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you can put, let's do Delft. Delft, Blue Holland, Delft, all these different. Want to find out about Delft? Do you want to learn about Delft? I do. Not tonight. <laughs> but this is what I'll be researching this week. And they're not going to have everything. Did you guys know that 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 there's different colors of Delft? Delft by Spode. I mean, those aren't the real old ones, obviously. But anyway, so so you know, um, you can you can. There pretty much isn't. There pretty much isn't a brand that you can't put in here. Did I spell it wrong? Oh, now they want to do China. Okay, Nortaki has all these different things that you can look up. So there's Nortaki. You can do... Edgewood. I wonder if there is... Oh, hey, apparently there is an Edgewood. I was trying to type Wedgewood. That's pretty good. Oh, heavens, that was that, that worked well for me. So Wedgwood, right? You could probably do there. There isn't anything that that you're not going to find in here. All right, you guys, you have a video on how to use Google Lens. There you go. Go. Every time I see your new hang on a second. Every time I see your new thing, I think it's Scott the Cha-Ching King because your your new thing looks like him. So I had to look twice to make sure. Yes, Dom does have a video. Courtney has a video. A bunch of people has a video, have videos, which is why I have not done a video. Um, drop, you want to drop the link to that, Dom, in the chat? Would you be so kind to? Um, so replacements LTD and and listen, you can there, let's do um Baffordshire. Huh. So we have a question. Yeah. So okay. replacements.com is very clearly good for reference, but don't you think the prices are high? Nope, I sure don't. As a matter of fact, lots of times when I go in there to look for something like I just listed about $2,000 worth of this right here, this stuff right here, this calico blue. Why? Because nobody has it. 
<laughs> but mine is different than what they're showing here. Mine is actually um, Staffordshire. Mine is your motto, Noel, is to price everything high. I price everything high. I price it where it should be priced to sell as a collectible. If you're just buying stuff and not wanting to do the research to find out what it is, but you find somebody else that has it and that looks good and you're going to price it so that you can make money, I don't, um, then I guess that's your, that's your, um, your business. That's how you do things. I have a real hard time buying a collectible item that there's not a lot of and pricing it dirt cheap so that, so that we bring, so that we bring the price down on those collectibles. There's only... I saw, I did see that. I did see that, Dom. That, that will make a difference. I love your new, I love your new, I love your new logo. So though, I, I just, it's just getting used to it. Um, if you don't know, Mrs. PT's on his, on his new one. So it's him and her together. She's been revealed? She, well, it's, no, it's, it's not really, I mean, it's, it's a cartoon, right? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, there's pictures of her on his Instagram. Oh Yeah. Yep, there are. Um, anyway, so I I personally do not think their prices are too high. I think their prices are where they should be, and they do too, and that's why they're priced at that price. So I don't don't hi Marie. I don't um let's see if it if it will bring up Danube. Nope, it's not going to bring it up on here. The set that I just bought. And and a lot of this is Flow Blue. But that's not the name of it. That's for another time. So um, replacements is an, an excellent resource right up there with... Birth Point. If you guys, worth points expensive, but it's worth it. If you don't have it and you want to try it, um, then they have a free, a free subscription where you can just do it for a little bit, or you can just do it for a month. Um, I have looked things up for people. Um, let's do this. D A N. I just was looking. This, I got to get the right name so that we can. Because I want to show you guys this. I researched. I bought a whole set of this stuff for um, $142 last weekend. This pot, this stuff that I'm going to show you here in just a second. Oh shoot! Because I should have. I should have. Um, should have pulled this up. Fine. Get the correct name. Here we go. All right. Oh boy. I can't type and talk at the same time. Most of you already know that. Okay, we'll see if it pulls this up. It's not going to pull it up like that. Wow, that's weird. What are we typing? Royal Danube? Danube. Danube. Right here. In February of 2012, this cup and saucer sold for $12.50. That was 10 years ago. I have mine listed for $69.99, and I have four sets of, of these. I have a whole tea set. 
the whole shebang, the cups and saucers, the teapot, the creamer, the sugar, and four dessert plates listed for $529. And that's about equal with a little bit more than what the person on Etsy has them listed for, but then mine fall into a sale. So right now they're... I was just uh, going to ask if you usually have a sale going in your store. I, I didn't. I used to for a long time. And then I quit putting sales on because I wasn't... Um, I just didn't have time to mess around with them, but I've been I've been going back to. I usually have a fifteen percent sale running Monday evening through Friday morning, and then Friday about four o'clock through Monday morning at nine a.m. I have a I will run a twenty percent off sale, and then I will send out five percent offers to watchers because I have I have my items priced at that price point. But you guys, you wouldn't hi going on buddy haven't seen you in a long time um you would be amazed at how many sales i mean over the last year since since last a year ago in august a year ago in july i quit running sales because i was so busy and then i went and saw jan for two and a half three weeks almost and mm -hmm. then i came home and i went and saw jan again this last summer all that whole time i never ran sales and i was up to twenty two thousand um my 90 day total for quite some time anyway between moving and everything else that's going on this summer i wasn't running sales because i didn't have the time to and i didn't have an automated you can automate all of that all of that stuff too um anyway so people aren't buying stuff like this why are they not buying stuff like this i don't know they don't want to pack it. They don't want to ship it. I don't have a problem. I paid $142, you guys, for 12, for eight of these, two of these that I have listed right now, two of these will almost pay, selling two of these will almost pay for that whole set. Will I have to sit on them for a little while? I don't think so because I already have a lady that wants four plates, but she wants me to sell them to her at $160 for four plates when the four plates should be selling at $70. Seven times four is 280, correct? That's it. And then if, if they sold on the 15% the off, which I think is 59, that's still 60. Six times four is 20, 240. So no, I'm not going to sell her them. And I went back and forth with her. Hi, KK, in messages nicely. And I told her I wasn't willing to go that low. I'd only had them listed and they were hard to find. And she came back and told me they weren't hard to find, that she's been buying pieces bit by bit on Etsy. And I said, I'm happy for you. She said, I said, but there aren't any plates out there. And she said, I know. And I said, that's why they're hard to find. And she goes, well, you just let me know when you're tired of holding on to them. And I said, well, I'll just tell you right now that I have a large storage area and I won't be tired of hanging on to them. And I'm not going to drop my prices anymore. And I haven't heard back from her, but I bet money she buys some because she wants, she needs four of them. So tell the story we, about the Heidi Doss Halloween pin. The Heidi Doss Halloween pin. <laughs> um. <laughs> I used to never you buy jewelry in the story, but the point I used is to never buy jewelry. Jan, when, I was, when I was with Jan the first time around, they were talking about this Halloween pin and I, and, and how rare it was. And so I kind of did her and Julie. So I was kind of doing a little bit of research. So then we we're watching the sale. Jan's driving. We're watching the sale and it's just going up, up, up. And, and, um, who, uh, what's her, what's the, what's her name that sold it? Vintageous. Yes. Jody. Joni. <laughs> she's a riot and she's like she's like there's still there's still room in here for you guys to make money but nobody wanted to spend the money because people are cheap when you go to sales spend some money people <sighs> all right got that out hang on a second hi amy how are you there's people in here i haven't seen in a long time you guys are making me feel good thank you all right so we went on this sale. I bought this stupid thing for a lot. It was like, I think it was 100. like 130. All I know is I told them I was going to double my money or, or triple my money. And they're all like, no, you're not and blah, blah, blah. So I listed it for high, like, like out of your mind high, because there were no others. It was the spider. 
anyway, this was lady a ghost. kept. Yes, it was. It was a ghost. Heidi Doss goes, ghost. Oh, on my Instagram way back. There's a whole story about it on my Instagram. Anyway, so <laughs> I was kind of getting to the point where I I had a lot of people watching it. And I'd had some offers. And one morning I had an offer for $250 or something like that. And I was just I was telling the girls, I was like, I should just take it. And they're like, don't do it. Don't do it. And I was like, all right. So I didn't do it. Pretty soon somebody buys it flat out for the price I had it listed for it i was just like and everybody was the, just flabbergasted the number, the number of conversations that went back and forth and she stood her ground if on, you, on that price if you know well hola all of the all of the ghosts are coming out of the closet today if you know what your items worth is and if you know the amount of them that are or aren't out there and you know the condition of your item and you can hang on to it and get the price you want out of it, I honestly think you should. BCP, it's your birthday next year. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are cracking me up. Otherwise, race to the bottom, go ahead. But while you're racing to the bottom, mine's gonna sit there because I'm gonna get the price that I want for mine and, and, and that's, that's that's how it is what's this and she does i love she when i spend does. time it prepping a lot and mind. someone wants it. yep yep let let all of these let all of these other people sell sell their items for cheap let them do it and if you can't afford to do it and if or if you are in an emergency situation and you need to do it that's it's really i i get that but just, just understand that every time you sell a vintage or an antique item for cheap, you're not just hurting all the other people that have it out there. You're hurting that item, that item's value in the whole, in the, in the whole story of, of the vintage antique world. I watch um, Christie's auctions almost every night they have one you guys you want to learn some stuff go watch some of these live auctions they live stream them on on YouTube plus I can't buy anything so I'm not tempted because I mean they're selling a they just finished selling Paul Allen one of the Nike guys they just finished selling his estate his his art estate the first night it was 1.5 billion dollars but if you want to learn about art and stuff like that, that's what you got to do. You got to go li listen to that stuff. Put your headphones in. Put your headphones in. Put your phone in your pocket, whatever, and go. All right. So Worth Point and those are two, two really good places to go for searching out these. What were we? We were looking at Corral dishes. I'm not going to go on, on Worth Point for Corral dishes because. Because um, you already know. But. Uh, well, not, orders. you know, I want you guys to see this is not, no, this is no, no, nobody is going to buy this for 12999 I bet there's a decimal point missing in there. No, nope, probably not because they have zero um, feedback or they don't know. Nobody is going to purchase this one for 4050 Nobody is going to purchase this one. Or 11 nobody's gonna purchase if they were I got a whole box of these in storage I need this whole I need to go I need to go get my my corning wear and get woo -hoo. that's my it's set. not gonna I happen not gonna happen spice of life um so, it's, it's, so what if you find something that is unique at an at an estate sale like um a like uh pottery and it's not marked okay i i bought something today let's do this um make me big i bought I something today know. that i know i'm going to make a lot of money it's unique i didn't see it when i first walked into the room but somebody else commented on it and i was like oh why didn't i see it because it was right next to all of the wrapping paper. If you know me, you know I love vintage wrapping paper. I did look through it, but I didn't look ahead. If you saw this sitting next to the wrapping paper, would you look at it?
anybody ever watch Dom's Dom's channel and watch his thrift challenges and saw the wrapping paper that I sold for four or five hundred dollars? Is that wrapping paper that you're holding? It sure isn't. It's even better. It's wallpaper. Okay, so how do you research that that roll of wallpaper? The other roll had the label on it. <laughs> oh, nice. But here's the best part, you guys. Five dollars. I got them both for five dollars. So let's, hi, Lizzie. So let's just, I'm going to, I don't know if this will be backwards or not. I'm not going to do it on this one. Um, I was going to, I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm probably going to list these rolls for probably four or 500 bucks a piece. And we'll see. I'm not saying I'm going to get that. This stuff is insane. This is the kind of stuff that I get excited about. I don't get excited about a, a Nintendo that's going to sell for a thousand dollars. Why? Cause they're all over the place. I get excited about this kind of stuff that nobody else picks up, but I can show you guys. And then you're thinking about, Oh, I should look at, I should look at that. Um, this says there's actually, this one is a different, uh, um, has different sayings on it the other Gra graffiti is now respectable. Read these walls. Um, Donald duck has webbed feet. Pinocchio is a swinger. Batman loves Robin. Brooklyn is alive and somewhere in New York. The earth is flat, class of 1491. Cinderella married for money. Florence Nightingale it, was a fan. Is it vintage wallpaper? Yes. So this role. I, re I realized from my, from my mom's place how many different things she was using vintage wallpaper to repurposing and decoupaging and everything else because everything I mean, right now using vintage wallpaper on the ceiling on the toe plates of your stairs on the back wall of your laundry just to do one accent piece um in case you guys know don't know oh this is my cousin sam Hi, Sam. I love you, Sam. This, this, this wallpaper is even better and it kind of fits in. I think it's the same stuff. Um, where was I reading? Start the day with a smile. Yes. And get it over with. <laughs> Florists are just pedal pushers. Um, is there intelligent life on earth? Yes, but I'm only visiting, you know, so <laughs> don't litter it up. The white knight, something. Make the earth attractive to the rest of the universe. So, um, if this did not have a tag on it, hi, Don and Mary, or maybe just Don, or maybe just Mary. Hi, La Lisa. If this did not have the tag on it, which it does, then I would just literally start typing in to Google search. Well, let's do it because I haven't looked it up. Let me open up. A, but it does have a tag on it. And that's really cool. It was made in the USA. Quality um, V-I-C-O-A uh, is the name. It has the lot. It has the pattern, double roll. It has... Um, Jan will be back in a little bit. Where it was made, uh, Eatontown, New Jersey. Um, this one is a double roll. That's important to know, too. Um, let's see. Right. I need to get my fingernails done. Let's see if it. This thing hates me. See where it says double roll right there? Mm hmm Okay, over here. When you're dealing with, um, this is not pre-pasted either. See how up here it says triple roll and it'll tell you the length and the square feet. Down here it's double roll. It'll tell you the length and the square feet so that you know 
when you're listing it. Now, that other role has been used. It's been opened up and used. So when I go to list this, I'm going to get out. What are these? Calipers. And I'm going to get my calipers out. And I'm going, I must need new batteries because it's not working. I'm going to measure this right here. I'm going to measure the end of this one and see how much it is. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to measure it as well. See how much there is. And let, and I'll put that, it's not tripped on my own self. I'll put that in my pictures because now you can do 24 pictures, right? Something like this, that's amazing to have 24 pictures for something like this. So how do you how do you comp and research that roll of wallpaper? So let's this one it might take a while. Um, so let's go. Let's go back here. You can't be. That's eBay. I don't want this. There's no picture coming down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in vintage. No. Um, double roll patent. Let me find the number on here because it's right. Is it on like the back of the paper if the No, it has there? it on the it, no, you'll never find it on the paper itself. You you're not going to find it on the paper itself because then you would have that on the paper or you would have to cut it off. I just lucked out that it has that it has it on here, but you can find it other otherwise you can we could go let's just type it in without doing the number. Um vintage Um, at first I thought it was, um, Murphy's law. Have, have any of you guys ever seen wallpaper that says has Murphy's law on it? And then I, sh I could vintage, we could just do this. Have we seen Jeremy in here yet? Vintage not metallic yet. wall. Uh, doing it wrong? Nope, not yet. He might have been uh, here at the very beginning. It's not, but I haven't, I don't I haven't seen yet. him chat. Okay, you guys. Are you looking at the prices on these? Now, this is brand new. This is a roll of brand new wallpaper. There are companies, there's a company out here. Look at this gold leaf choice in a wallpaper. This is a design. Here's a metallic retro renovation. These people right here, this company, you can. I took a picture of the wallpaper in Jan's, uh, at Jan's mom's house in the bathroom because it's daisies and it's amazing. I could send them that picture of wallpaper and they will print it for me. So if you find a wallpaper design that you really, really like, these people will print for you. So I'm getting Midwest off track. Here but... suggested to also try the keyword foil. See, I oh, wouldn't have good thought idea. Of that. Yep. So here is retro vintage metallic floral botanical wallpaper. This is on Flickr. Um, and sometimes you can go down and they'll have others. This one, this one right here, um, this is, oh my God. I bought this one last weekend and I will sell it too. This is enough for somebody to do one project. Somebody thought it was a poster. Hang on, I got to show you. I got it full screen. Hang on. If this isn't 90s, I don't know what is. This is enough for somebody to do one project with. I She charged me a dollar for it. 
Can you see the, the gold? There's not a ton of it, but there's enough. I'll probably sell this, what I have right here for a hundred and some dollars. <clears throat> All right. So we could add that in here. We could add metallic. We could add foil. We could add retro. Let's see what we get. Yeah, Muriel's saying, uh, you know, can add one of the sayings on it. Yeah, those are those are things I I think I would have tried to. Well, I mean, this is a if process, I've got right? A, it's if a I've process. got floral stuff that that doesn't have that's not in the wrapper and it's a thick, you know, double roll or whatever the case may be. I'm, and I'm worse comes to, to worse. If, if you know how to use it, right. I'm going to do this real quick and see if this gets Google us Lens. anywhere. And then, um, and then we'll put the, um, the company and the, the roll number in. And then you're not, oh, this is upside down. Of course it is. If I go so away. So at what it's point do you give up and get frustrated? I never give up. I never give up. If I go down around, on something like this that I, that I, oh, uh, wow, that's cool. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Sorry. Porky Pig has problems, so does the rest of the world. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just reading what it says. I've gotten <laughs> to the point where sometimes I just get so overwhelmed with the volume. You know, if I'm like moving along and Google Lens is nailing it over and over and over again, and then I hit something oh my. that I'm not finding anything, that ends up in what I guess I can refer to now as my death pile. Because I'm like, I I'll research it later. Nope. If you've started researching reproductive. something, if I have started researching something, okay. So I'm not getting any major hits right yet on, on Google Lens. So now I'm going to type in vintage wallpaper. We'll see. Because if you guys didn't know, if you're not finding it, in the search, then they've Google Lens is also added where you can start typing stuff in. And oh, I like sometimes that feature. I saw they added that. Yeah. Um billboards, billboards. See, it's thinking it's graffiti. Wallpaper. That's the only thing okay. I know about that entire role is that it's a role of wall wallpaper. Okay, so it is um now I know that I'm going to put in, oh shit, sorry, I mean shoot, sitting on top of my keyboard so I can't type because, you know, that's where it's at. So I'm going to type in vintage, I already got that part in, V I. C O A wallpaper and it is three three three. Well, you got that from Google Lens? No, I have it right on the tag. Oh. I was trying, I'm showing you. I could I I, I guarantee you give me an hour and I could find this without this. But yeah. There's a lot of newer sellers that they don't have to go through that pain, right? That you shouldn't have yeah, to go through it's that painful. pain. It's painful. I could watch mm. you all freaking day and just hope by osmosis that I would get the knowledge that's in your head. Okay, so that's what I have on the tag. Now, it's going to just bring up all of this stuff. Look at here's a commercial grade Victorian... $214. Now, I'm on images. I don't want images. I want to go to Google itself. I don't want to look at the images. I want to see if it'll bring me up. Look at, I was showing Jan this on some fabric that I had that I couldn't find that I finally found. And, and, and this is what I had to do. You, you have to 
you can you can google lens a lot of things and you can google google but if you're really having a hard time you come back here to the i'm pointing at it with my finger like you can see that always come back here to the all because look down here you guys hi terry i was just talking about you and showing everybody where you lived not really um Usually down here on the bottom, it says more results and they'll, they might even have five or six more pages. And if you don't stop at page one, don't be that person. Don't be a page one stopper, giver upper. Don't, don't, I don't want to know you if you're a page one giver upper. Don't be a page one giver upper. Okay, right here, wallpaper, wallpapers, eBay, new wallpaper, peel and stick, um, toilet and Vicola wallpaper, double row, roll. Uh, we'll go look at that, but I want to look at some of the other stuff. If I don't see anything on here that, that um, this is V-I-C-O-A, V-I-C-O-A, so that V-I-C-O-A, that's what I have in there. Um Nope, Vicola. See down here at the bottom where it's crossed out? Yeah, meaning that keyword is missing. Keyword. They're pulling every keyword except for that one that you've put in. Vintage wallpaper, original 60s and 70s style, retro design, vintage chic. Is that Marine? What did you say it was? V-I-C? V-I-C-O-A. Quality service made in the USA. It's even got double roll patent. That's really, um, they were in Eatontown, New Jersey. So another thing that I will do is I will go right up here. The history. I've of, noticed you haven't gone anywhere near eBay yet in your research. No, eBay's like my last. I don't. I, eBay is there. Uh, yeah, I spelled that wrong. It's telling me. History images for history of Vicoa. Arsenic poisoning. Arsenic wallpaper. Hmm. <laughs> the his. Well. You guys, they did a lot of stuff back then. Hi, Kristen. Um, the history of wallpaper. I don't want that. I want the history of images for history of Vicoa. So let's click on that and just see what they got here. These are such a great example of different um, wallpapers, different images, and then they'll go down here. I'll tell you what, sometimes you're not going to find what you want. You're not going to find what you want. You're just rolling and you're scrolling and you get down here to the end and they go, it's so depressing. The rest of the results might not be what you're looking for. See more anyway? Yes, because we're not a page one giver upper. Because lots of times I'll find what I'm looking for. Look at here's some more Vicola, right? They might not necessarily, somebody on here, it may, might be in, in a Reddit post. It might be on Tumblr. It might be somewhere on Pinterest. Somewhere on here, somebody has this, this amazing wallpaper somewhere. And I will find it. I, I, am, I will find it and I will list it. Hi, Mystery DA, Denise. Anyway, so let's go back to back up here because i want to see if then you have well, all of these you don't find it oh then i'll just make up my own what what let's what do you see. what would you pick what would i the one thing that i was what would i pick well let's go yeah. let's go to we don't need craigslist anymore so let's pull that up i'm just gonna go here and i'm gonna write vintage Retro, metallic, foil, um, wallpaper. Why? Because I'm lazy. Oh, here's something real similar to it. So, I mean, right there, those would be my keywords for it. 
So what would I do? I'm going to go here real quick and look and see what we have for solds. Of course, of course. What the heck is that? I don't want that. All right. I want, where did my solds go? Sold completed items. I don't know how a pair of metallic satin thongs got in here. Here's here's a Gordon wall text fabric. Um, she has a tiny roll of it. So you can see vintage three rolls, mid-century modern. Holy moly. I might be using this one. Um, and then when you, as soon as you pull something up, right, you're going to get all kinds of extra little, little ones, but we're, we, we just want to get this listed. I already know what I want for it. So because I've been doing this long enough, I can do that, right? You guys can do that too. Mm -hmm. You can do that too. If you have an item and you know what it's worth and you know that you can't find it because you spent, what would we spend? 15 minutes on that already? That's enough. However, there are things, there are things that are antique that I will honestly 100% spend an hour or so on. And then it's there. And then I get to do a video and teach you guys and save you guys that hour or two hours of research. And you can just listen to me go ma 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 while you're doing your listing and learn. So this is probably what I will use as my template. I will probably sell similar off of this. This is amazing. It's almost exactly what I have, just a different design, right? Vintage, three rolls, mid-century modern foil wallpaper, European opera playbill, Faust. Um, talk, three rolls have never been hung and have only been unrolled to measure them. Um, I would never unroll them to measure them. Why would you put yourself through that? Just yeah, there's saying. There's a couple of, couple of people that thought maybe it wasn't a uh, vintage paper. It absolutely is. It says it right here. It says it right here on the label. Does it have a date? A <clears throat> There's no date. It has the triple roll and double roll. If you've ever dealt with wallpaper, then you know that that's how it comes. Um, Vicoa Inc. is a wallpaper manufacturer. It has double roll and it has the pattern which is 3036, lot number 006, and it was made in the United States. It is 100% wallpaper. And I knew that before I ever saw that, which I didn't even see it until I got it out to the car and 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 put it in the car. And then I was like, oh, it's holy 100% moly. vintage, you meant. Yeah. Yeah. They don't think this is vintage? No, just a couple of people suggested when we were first starting out that maybe it's not vintage. Oh yeah. This is this is as old as me. Close to this is 60s. This is 60s or 70s. It's not pasted because they didn't have pasted wallpaper back then. So you hate it when I buy 92% wallpaper. <laughs> Batman is from Marvel. If all quotes refer to Marvel, it could be a good research word. Where's Batman? Oh, we were talking about Porky Pig in there. Yeah, there's no Batman on here. Anyway, so what I will do is, but but see, in my in my opinion, okay, we don't know what they sold this for, and they sold all three rolls together. Now, if I was gonna enroll this, do you know what I would do? And I just may, I may enroll this. Because there is, tell you, 70 square feet in this double roll. It is 28 inches wide by 10 yards long. I could split this in half and, this, and that this one. Is and where, this is where Courtney had said, if you copy and paste the title into Terapeak, it'll show the sold the real sold price in because I who do you think taught her that where is she <laughs> no no Courtney didn't say it today she said in a previous video that I was watching. I have said that in like 20 previous videos over and over over again so 
And I will show you guys that because there's probably plenty of you in here that do not know. And those of the you that do know, hold your horses. So let's see. Let's go here to, I'm going to copy this title right here, Vintage Three Rolls. Yep. I'm going to copy this. I've seen you do it before. We're going to go over here to eBay. We're going to go to my eBay. You're going to go to your seller hub. You're going to go to research. You're going to go right here to Terapeak product research. We're going to paste that title in there and we're going to, going to do last 90 days and we're going to put it right there. And it's going to tell us that it sold for $175 for all three rolls. So nice. obviously they were happy with that price. What are you going to do? I think that's a little low personally, but who am I? Might have been listed for a long time. That's that's Still true too. I would totally accept the first offer if it's been listed for a long time. But that you're that's a race to the me. bottom I'm person. I'm a different kind of reseller. You're a race to the bottom person. No. I yes, you are. That. I'm sorry. Yes, you are. I've seen the offers you've taken. Don't take that offer for that brooch, Noel. Stand at your ground. You're yelling. You're a race to the bottom seller because you didn't buy any of the stuff, but your mother did. But you have blood, sweat, and tears in that stuff. So you might as well I'm have learning. bought it. All right. She's I'm had her lecture. To hold out. Hold now out she's had her lecture live. This is horrible. Can't believe you, you made me do that. On Etsy? What are you laughing at? What'd you do? The fact that you made me lecture you on live TV. <laughs> Sorry. Do you sell on Etsy? Do I sell on Etsy? No, but I should be. I I, I need to sell on Etsy. I need to sell on Macari and I need to sell on Posh. And I need to use List Perfectly, which I won a, a free month from Cat. Like I needed to win a free month from Cap, but uh, you know, it, it's it, with Dren and the house and all of this and me moving and stuff like that. It's just, it's a little more than, than I can deal with at this moment. So what I'm really going to do now is I'm going to take this um, vintage, I'm going to take mid-century modern full foil wrap, foil wallpaper. Um, there, there's so many different different things that you could do to research it more, and I will. So let's make up a fake. If I wanted to just sell it and I wanted to get it listed tonight, because I went out, I okay. went out sourcing today and I picked the 12 items and I need to get them listed. So <laughs> I I found something similar to it, right? So here we are. And Noelle, you yell at Jan all the time. Oh man. I love Busted. it. it me on my toes. Right down here, it says, have one to sell, sell it now. All right, thank you, I will. <laughs> now, when you sell similar off of somebody else's items, it is your responsibility to make sure that you have checked every item specific and change that to be consistent with what yours is. But one of the best things for you to do is honestly the first thing that you should do before you do anything is go down here to your item categories and check and make sure that your categories are correct they have it in wallpaper rolls and sheets i don't know that i really want it in that category why because it's it's a collectible it's vintage it's i may be the only one in the world right now that has this that's not plastered with five other rolls kinds of wallpaper or paint over the top of it, right? So if you're listing your items in the collectibles cat category, when you sell <coughs> um, pre-filling fields, I'll come back and read your, read your stuff. You can read, or you can just read that. When you sell your item, then you don't have to pay that 35 cent fee if, you, if it's listed in collectibles. And how do I know that? Because it tells you that on your seller hub down below. All right. So 
what I can do is I can go in here and I can go down to collectibles. And then I can look in all of these different, what do I want? Arcades? No, no, no. Breads, beads, bottles, brewery, casino, collectible figures? No, 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 no. Um, Disneyana? No. Fantasy, mythical, and magical? Well, yeah, but not that kind of stuff. Holiday and seasonal? No. Kitchen and home, it could go in there, absolutely. Linens and textiles, not really. Paper, it could go in there, but they're talking about ephemera type paper, not that kind of paper. Pinbacks, science fiction and horror. Yeah, I think I would be in horror to see that in the bathroom, but that's not what they're... So if I wanted to pick right here, boom. Vintage mid-century, retro mid-century, 1960s. And now I'm going to come down here to my store category, and I'm going to put it in. First, I'm, I'm going to put it in two categories, because this is my store. It doesn't cost me anything. I'm going to put it in vintage. And it's already in collectibles. So this store category right here is my store categories in my, in my store in eBay. This item category, that's eBay's item category. That's where it's going to show up in eBay. All right. So that's one of the first things. Before you go down here and start messing with your item specs, because what will happen you get all your item specs all done and typed in, and then you decide, oh, I don't really like that category, and you go and change it, and guess what? All of your item specs are gone, and you got to go do it again. Muriel offended the king of the nerds. <laughs> all right. Now we have the title. I don't know that I'm going to put vintage in it. We'll see. But I am going to to see this category down here, vintage, retro, mid-century. That's that's perfect. Mid-century is really 50s, 60s, 40s, 50s, 60s, really 50s, 60s. The mid, right? Like I'm in middle, I'm 55. I'm middle aged. I'm not old. Somebody keeps calling me old. I'm not old. You're only as old as you feel. Mid-century, so 50s, 60s, maybe some of the 40s, maybe some of the 70s, so mid-century modern. Um, and that's not written in anybody's rule book. That's just what came out of my mouth. So I'm, and I'm only going to do, I'm not going to do three rolls. I'm not going to sell them that way. I'm going to sell, I'm, I'm quite possibly going to cut the, cut the full one in half and sell it at, at a certain price. So I'm going to go mid-century modern. And I don't like the fact that some of these are not capitalized. Some of these are capitalized. They just go back and forth like they don't know what the heck they're talking about. So this is all going to go away. <clears throat> I don't even need this. So we can go. I'm going to go. I am going to do vintage. 1960s because I'm pretty sure that's where it is. I'm going to go VI and their name on their thing is all caps. Otherwise, I wouldn't use it. V-I-C-O-A. Foil. Retro. Um, funky. Weird. Sayings. Unpasted wallpaper um i don't know why i did that wallpaper uh 3036 lot i'm putting this in 006, 006. all right i got three spaces left that i could put something in here and i probably will come back and do a little bit of something something i could actually do 60s 
um, 70s. I could take this out. I could change the words. Right now we're just doing a listing, right? Just because this is what you have in there doesn't mean that's what you have to keep in there. Um, so we, we've got this done. Buyers also search. Now, there, now you have object type. That's what I'm putting there. Handmade, no. Modified item, no. United States is where it was made. Um, you don't have to do anything. Time period manufactured, 1960s. You can change that if you want. Add the condition of your item. Well, we know it's new, never been used, but it's not really new. It, even if it's still the, the clear wrapping paper on it, I wouldn't list it as new. It's used. It's pre-owned. I have this saved on my computer I showed last week. So this is going to go right here. That's what I'm going to put in for there so that that is filled in. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to steal what little bit of stuff that I have here. I'm going to copy that. That copy. I'm going to come down here and remember last week I showed you guys how to make custom templates. And I'm going to go in here to my custom templates and I'm going to get my vintage description and I'm going to drop that in there. And then I'm going to paste the title that I started on. You don't want to have the exact same title down here as you have up in your listing because um, I can't think. Uh, um, it, there's a specific word for it, but basically you're just, you're just spamming the same thing, the same Keywords. thing. The same. Huh? Keywords? No, when you, when you put, when you put, there's a specific word for it. When you have the, when you repeat the same thing over and over again in text and you're on your computer, Lori, are you awake and listening? Type it in. Girlfriend, I know you're there. You were here earlier. She took a whole class on it. But basically, you want to add any keywords into your description that you couldn't fit in your title because Google search and all the other searches and your keyword searches will pick up from these, these items down here. So I could go right here to this and I could go, I could put this is, don't, don't kill me for my, my, spelling because I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna let this live tonight this is beyond amazing some of the phrases are and you can do this and then you can come down here and you can write is there intelli intelligent life on earth I spelled that one right. Earth. Um, Hercules was a weakling. Rob says uh, redundant repetition. Yeah, something like that. So you want to you want to come down here and add to this. So now I might go in here and go 1960s, 70s, um, Vicoa foil, Vicoa, and I might actually. Um, foil, retro, funky, weird, um, foil, retro, Alec. Um, so, and so then you can add whatever these things, um, that you want to don't litter it up. I mean, so make the earth attractive to the rest of the universe. And tell you that that probably didn't happen. Um, give grass a chance. That's hilarious. <laughs> They're talking about the grass that you mow, not that grass that you. But whatever make whatever makes you happy. Give grass a chance. So I think Sue, she's putting this in because it could hit somebody's search. Porky Pig has problems. Is that why you're typing all these, Noel? Is yep. so it gets it gets search words. Yep. 
and then you can go also right right here we can go um let's see silver metallic with yellow orange brown black words a lot of people don't put anything in here for something like this i'm gonna put stuff in the description this isn't a normal thing this isn't a hat that you don't need to put anything in right um this isn't anything like that so um flip i've heard more bad about flip than i've heard good about it so i wouldn't even i wouldn't even that's just me are you using flip free listing yep no flip he, made is a, not... he made a comment that he didn't like flip i think oh good yeah i was gonna say i find it very hard to believe that he's using flip flip is not flip is not what you guys no. think it is so i'm just he's gonna using... say it right here walk away from it it'll screw your stuff up he's using That's... vendu he uses vendu That's what I thought, Matt. You need to get a hold of me because I'm getting rid of a bunch of stuff uh, in the next two weeks. And like when I say getting rid of it, it's going gone, going to the dump or the Goodwill. And it's good stuff and you're nearby. Miss Noelle, I have to drop off. I'm having an active argument with Oreo because he's never seen snow before. So I'm having a hard time keeping him quiet. All right. Nope, that's fine. You need you have a school night too anyway, so. Yeah, it's school night. All right, night. so that is what I have. Let me finish this real quick before you leave. I'm not okay. going to let it loose. That is, and you, you know, you can save this for a draft, come back to it to the, the next day, the next morning. Do a little more research on it. My, mind you, you guys, there are zillions of Facebook groups out there that are dying to help you identify your stuff. I, I'm not kidding you. There's action figure Facebook group, Barbie Facebook groups. They they get excited just seeing what you have. And and there's there's people out there that will research it for you for free. I if sold you are polite, If you are polite and nice and just ask. I, I went that, and I thought I found myself a vintage mannequin collectors facebook group and i posted a mannequin and i just picked a price out of the air and said four hundred dollars i sold it within two days so i'm gonna sell this what did i how much how much did i say there was in this there is um 28 inches wide by 10 yards so 10 yards Let's just go, um, this is for five yards, uh, yards, I, what did I say? It was some 20, 28 inches wide. And then I'll go here and I will take this and I will go right up here and i will make it 24 and i will go right up here i hate these colors that they put in and i'll make it bright blue and that did not copy over so of course not so i have a question yep why did we do sell similar off of someone else's listing if we because it was there everything okay because it was there and it was easy you can go okay. in and make your own you can go in and make your own sometimes there's special categories that if you don't know about you don't know about sometimes True. their listings will be in a specific category that's really it, it, you know, maybe i should put it in uh, wallpapers but i think that i don't want it in the wallpapers i think i want it in a retro vintage because Somebody that's looking for this is looking for something that's retro and vintage. They might also be looking for wallpaper, but they may not even know it until they're looking through the retro vintage category. Maybe they yeah. just pull that category up and they see it and they're like, holy moly, I got to have this. And I'm like, I'm going to sell it to you. 
Yeah. So, and you can always go and change your categories too, but just keep in mind when you change your categories, you're also going to go change all your item specs because that those don't, those don't come over. Hey, Craig, how are you? All right. Is so now we've got all of that in there. Now let's go down to price. I'm going to price this at um, 199.99. That's for half a roll. I'm going to allow offers. This is going to go in my FedEx shipping policy, which is a shipping business policy, which if you go back to my to last week, you'll see about those. I've got multiple. They have the choice. In my FedEx shipping business policy, they have the choice to choose FedEx, UPS, USPS priority, or USPS parcel select ground. I give them four options to choose this. Now, how much does this weigh? Well, Kimsey shop, I think that there is a fee for a second category. Yep. If you use two categories up above, you're going to get a fee every month. This weighs three pounds, 10 ounces for a full roll. So I'm going to put, so half, half of it would be one, one and a half pounds, almost two pounds. So I'm going to put in here that it weighs three pounds. Why? Because we have packaging and how am I going to package this? You want to know? I'm going to, I'm going, <clears throat> I'm going to roll some um bubble wrap around it and then i have some really thick paper that you use it's like construction paper only they use it on the floors the painters use it on the floors you can get it at home depot i am going to wrap this in that i may roll a piece of cardboard around it i'm going to wrap it in that and that's how it's going to go i'm not going to put it in a box i'm not going to wait until i find a box I'm not going to wait until I find a tube. I'm not going to go somewhere and buy a $20 tube to ship this in. Because if I did, then I'd have to add that into my price because I'm not paying for that. The customer is going to pay for everything. The customer is going to pay your tax. They're going to pay your shipping. They're going to pay your listing fee. They're going to pay your eBay fees because you're going to figure that into your price. And then you're going to add that to what all of that costs and then you can do your sales and stuff like that and then when you and, and your cost of goods what was my cost of goods on this five bucks which is really going to end up being two actually less than that because i got two and they got to pay for my gas and my time to drive and to the your post gas office and your time three feet of snow going uphill both ways yeah yeah, I saw that one, Muriel. Oh, Muriel found some. Uh, put mm -hmm. Muriel, you're you can drop the link in. Let everybody go look. You gotta, it's, you it's gotta. A, it's a, they're floral. They're they're not but, nearly as cool as yours. No, but look what she's saying here. One hundred and forty-four mm -hmm. ninety-eight. Is that per roll or is that for all the rolls? No, for all three. It's like the only uh, Vicoa, um auction out there there's like anyway and then i have i have a uh i already have a promote this listing i'm not going to promote this listing i don't need to it'll promote itself so um i am not going to hit that and for now i'm going to go down here and i'm going to save this for later i would be saving it for later anyway because now i'm going to take go right over to my listing station and i'm going to take the pictures of it and I'm going to tidy everything up and then I'm going to come back here. I'm going to look at it and see how it looks on the computer and see if I like it. And then off it goes. I'm going to list it. Good show, honey. I hope you keep going. I got to drop off. Bye. Love you. Thanks. Love you too. Bye, Stay guys. warm. Not true. Oh, wait a minute. Not you. Not you guys. This is not true. eBay, they, they, Rob, let me show you something. When you're, 
if if you're shopping on eBay, let's put let me pull up a listing here. Um What do I got here? What do I got here? I want to keep that one open. We didn't, we looked at that. We looked at that. I'm trying to figure out which tabs I want to close. Um, so let's go look at, <laughs> look what I found at the bins the other day when I was doing a video for somebody's channel. And I had a friend, a new friend that I met we met there. I, we didn't meet there, but she came and we shopped together. I found parts of it. This thing was filthy. I cleaned it up. Nineteen eighties caboodles. Anybody? And I, I told her. I said, "Isn't that a caboodles?" And she goes, "It is." And she goes, "Do you want it?" And it was filthy. I mean, it was filthy. It was black, filthy. And I go, "No, I don't want to clean it. I'm getting I'm starting to act like Courtney." She found all the pieces to it. And I was like, at that point in time, it was like, oh, are you going to take it? And she goes, no. And I was like, all right. This soaked all night long and I washed it and it's clean. So let's look up. I spelled that wrong. Oh, what do you know? If you go into somebody's listing... Not bad for at the bins, huh? Our bins are a dollar twenty nine. That thing weighs two pounds one ounces. I need to get a little I need to bring one of my little scales from home and put it over here. That thing weighs two pounds and one ounces. Our bins are a dollar twenty nine a pound if you spend over twenty five if you get over twenty five pounds. So um, if we're looking at your cost of goods, you guys got to keep your cost of goods in mind when you're, where's my, I'm losing it. Anybody already figure that out for me? 1.29 times 2.1, two dollars and 70 cents that thing cost me. All right. Um, you can decide which one is your preferred option. So right down here, shipping, ships from U.S. economy. See details, or you can just go down here where they have their description and it has shipping and payments. And if they give you options like I would, it'll, it says right here, their, the economy shipping, that's all they're offering is USPS retail ground on that, $12. So, oh, here's... That's not going to be enough. This is just going to be first class. I think this is one of my listings. Um, see detail. You can either click here on see details. This is first class, so it's not going to matter. I only have one option for that first class. Let's see if it pulls up any of my others. Oh, here. Here we go. It's going to be a big one to ship out. If we go down here to, well, if you guys don't know this, you're knowing something now. If you did know it, then just ignore me and go ho-hum. You can click on see details. I offer all of these. Do you see the most expensive one first, Rob? No, you see the most, the cheapest one first. That's how it works. And then they can choose. They can choose and they do. They choose the cheapest one all the time. I don't, I, I, I'm not going to mess around with trying to figure out a shipping policy on, um, I, I have shipping business policies and if, and I can only just tell you, Matt, are you still here? Do you have shipping business policies? You're eating ice cream. Ah, oh, Lizzie. <laughs> So I have shipping business policies. I have 24 of them. That's it. That's all I need. Am I not sharing? Oh, my gosh. I am horrible. All right. Let's go back here. All right. So thank you, Kim. That's why That's why Jan was here. Okay. So Annie. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi, girl. Um, <laughs> somebody just, Rob just, Rob just messaged me. Okay. So sorry about that. When you go into a listing right down here, it says, how much is the shipping going to be? This $11 and 92 cents is shipping to me. I'm looking at my listing and it's looking at my location where I'm at. So to ship this thing to myself, <laughs> It's going to cost me $11.92. Now, if you click on the see details or which is what right up here, which is right next to the description, right? Here's your description. That's got all of your item specs. And then it's got all of this stuff in it. Look at, well, look at what a good person I am. Shipping and payments. I have, I give them four different, I used to do a flat rate, one pound, two pound, three pound, four pound. I quit doing that for right now because the, the postal, the postage has been changing so much. It's, it's not, no policies. Okay. Thank you. Um, off of your own listings, 90 price. Okay. So the, um, they've just changed so much that really the only flat rates that I really have now are for, I have three different fl flat rates for um, first class. I have $4.99, $5.99, and $6.99. There are four different first class, um, John, uh, uh, what's the word I want? There are four different rates, four different first class breaks, but I only just do three. I used to have four, but it's just too much. So are you, and, and it's a flat rate because um, I did the research on that anyway. So ne nevertheless, I give them on anything a pound and over that doesn't fit in a flat rate uh, envelope. This is what they get. They get to choose. They get to choose what they want to pay and they get to see. And then... Yep. Yep. It has been for a while. That's not saying your shipping is too high. Well, you know, I don't answer those messages personally. I, I literally do not answer them. I don't have time for their worries about shipping. I've gotten to the point right now where I'm done. I, 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 I just, I just click away from it. I read it. I click away from it. And then I go into my seller hub and I mark that the question was answered because I don't have time to deal with people like that. The minute they start doing stuff like that is probably somebody you don't want to sell to anyway, in my personal opinion. Um, so, all right. That's, that is where that is. What were we going to research comp and list your items anybody have any questions there are quite a few people in here that are amazing sellers if you guys aren't aren't following matt will you drop your link again matt does shipping and listing videos almost every night and every morning and if you just want somebody to listen to and he shows you what he's doing and and all of that stuff go he matt is is up north He's in Washington here. I'm not against all policies. Just know how I operate. Yeah, you got to, everybody has to do their, their own stuff, right? Everybody runs what's easiest for them. You have no wrench. I'll take care of that right now. There you go. Yeah, you got a wrench now. Who else doesn't have a wrench? Kim, why don't you, I thought I gave you a wrench, Kim. Sorry, you guys, I got to, I, I just want to make sure that I got everybody. Okay, I think it was just you two, it looks like. All right, Kim and, and Matt, you guys have, you guys have link. You got one now. You got one now, Kim, you're blue. All right, so, um. You, have, you just haven't been here for a while, mister. 
Michael. Um, so when you find something that's hard, <clears throat> how about something like this? These are, these are something that I don't even know where they came from to tell you the honest truth. They were in a bag. I mean, I know they're Wonder Woman. I know they're the, the terry cloth because I can see it. They're the terry cloth. They're the wrist thingies. Um, and they've been sitting here on my desk because I'm kind of like, I don't want to list anything that's not worth at least $15, right? <laughs> so if we go, I need to close that. I need to close that. I need to close. No. All right. So we go in here and we do, I don't even want that. I want, I really don't hardly ever anymore. Wonder Woman, Terry, cloth, wrist. Or, well, we call them sweatbands, warmer, sweat bands. Probably should put blue in there. I know if I Google lens them, they'll come right up. Huh, that's amazing. They're really making things hard. Wonder Woman. Oh, there we go. There we go. Too many words. That's what I got right there. I'm Makari, but here they are. I'm Makari again for 15 for two of them. So, hey, there you go, right? I know they have. I know they actually have them on eBay because I Google lensed them just before we started. Because I'm, I'm going to list a few things. I got up early this morning and came in and did my shipping and listed ten items this morning. So if we Wonder Woman sweatbands, running wrist, new women, Wonder Woman sweatbands. I wonder why it's not. We could go here too to shopping. I don't usually look there. Um, Poshmark, eBay. So if I Google lens these though, I can tell you right now, I'm going to get a lot different, not to change the subject, but Noelle, did you complete your hand? I did. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this freaky and Getty's doll with red eyes. Yeah, that's what it is. This is my plush. I hope you're happy. Somebody closed their booth down. That's my plush. <laughs> it's not worth a ton, but it was there and it was clean. All right. So if I Google lens these It's going to come up somebody on Poshmark right there. As I'm listed for $20. And they do, they have a pocket, they have a zipper pocket. Can you guys see that right there? Party is on. Cancel. So somebody on par, oh, they sold them too for that. Oh, Courtney, you just came up in Poshmark. Dang it. I closed it before I could see it. That's hilarious. Your picture, look at people you follow with new listings. There's Courtney Bolo Buddies right there. Number one. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, She's famous. <laughs> Put that thing in a circle of salt. I know, right? I was like, oh, there's. <laughs> Did you see what? 
I got I got some really cool stuff. I can't show you at all because I got a really good video coming. Hey, Courtney, <laughs> will you drop your Rushton Gold Rush video? If you guys have seen that and seen me in it and you think that's funny, you're really going to watch want to watch my Ben's bingo video for court that <laughs> I'm doing for Courtney's bingo challenge because holy moly, I got it all figured out. All right. I only got a couple more days to finish it off though, but that is how I go about listing my items. Um, and I know that there's a lot of you that go about it the same way. You may go about it differently. You may just make up a title. You don't want to do the research. Some people just don't. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, I'll just say it. I'm anal. I want my stuff to be right. And here's another thing. You want to know that you, what you're listing is what you're listing because you want the people that want that item that have the money to spend on that item to know that you know what you have. Does that make sense? If you know you have a Dodge Durango 4x4 double door V6, whatever it is, then you know what you know. If you just put a, I got a Dodge pickup that's got four wheels, well, then you don't really know what you have as far as everybody looking at your title has, right? Does that make sense? What does Mystery DA have? That is what uh, they said. I have a couple of uh, over some hundred dollars. What do you got? What do you got, Denise? What did I miss? I only have 21 items listed so far. Someone said, do not list any high dollar items yet. What? Who said that? List your stuff. List your stuff. List it. List it. It's not going to sell if you don't list it. That's all I got to say. Just don't. Thank you. You guys go. Go. <laughs> if you want a good giggle and to learn some stuff, about gold or or rushed and plush you must go watch this video it is hilarious is all i gotta say um you're not one for rushing to the bottom but ebay has been really slow and i'm running out of room to store stuff and money are you running sales mike just curious i mean it has been slow um i just i just bottomed out two weeks ago at um 8,000 or something like that, but I'm back up to almost 10 for my, for my, uh, 30 day total. I think it is. So it's either 30 day or yeah, something like that. So anybody else, are there any questions? And I want put a question mark in front of it, please. Are there any questions that anybody has? <clears throat> that I can ask you that I can, that you can ask me that I can try to help you with. There's a lot of people in here that know a lot of stuff. So if I don't know the answer, they will. We have T auctions for you. Who's been a bookseller for years. Rob knows a lot of stuff about watches and gems. We have Courtney who knows a lot about a lot. Um, we have, Oh, I got you, Rob. Where'd you go? Uh, Mike, Right here, PB Dragon Hunter. He knows a lot about, um, oh, shoot. Don't you sell cards and stuff like that, Mike, and, and sci-fi and stuff like that? Don't you do, like, Magic the Gathering and stuff like that? I just sold a Sirocco old codger corkscrew. Just sold one. I have a whole video on Sirocco on my channel. I have a whole video on Sirocco wood. I just sold one. Uh, da, 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 da. Hang on a second. Let me go. Let me go find. Let me let me look through my orders here. 
Um, let me just type Sirocco in if it'll come up faster by that search using. It probably won't. I'm looking for you. Hang on. Okay, here, let me share this. Vintage antique. I sold it for $50, $60.05 all in with shipping. That, what you got? Hey, Paul, how are you? Hi, Paul. You only know about precious moments. Some of them are worth some money. You just got to know which ones they are, right? Is that what you're looking for? There you go. Vintage antique Sirocco wood hobo codger waiter old man direct pull corkscrew. I had it listed way super high. So I sold it for $50 as you guys saw. I, I I couldn't find I this these are all of the Sirocco items I've sold in the last 90 days. I bought a huge box of them for $20 at an estate sale and I've been selling them like crazy. So um yeah, that guy right there I and I took a best offer of $50 and so there you go. Oh, an old man and a top hat basically the same he's it's basically the same style though, right? Ooh, that's a good idea. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write that down, Kathy. Sold something. Um, let's see. Uh, novelty. See, this is why I will wait a day or so before I list something like that because I may change my mind. I may do a little more, more work. But you, if you need to get it listed right away, you can start with something like that. I could absolutely list it with, with what I have in my um novelty boy because novelty for pay, uh wallpaper that was a good one that's a a very good one keyword ooh, ooh, what did i bought what did i sell let's see if it'll even show us I sold a vintage coach signature perfume for $59.49 plus shipping. And it I want you guys all to see this. It is in collectibles, vanity, perfume and shaving, perfumes, other perfume collectibles. If they didn't want you to sell it, they wouldn't have the category. This is like, I just had to deal with somebody who left me a nasty feedback on one of these on a on a collectible perfume with eBay I was on the just sold McDonald's transformer woohoo Courtney some are listed for 75 well all I can tell you is list it high and let it fly I had that one listed for quite some time um so that one I let go for fifty dollars but I mean you can you can list it high and come down on your prices. You can never go up. You can never raise that price up, right? So list it high, sit on it for a little while, see what you got, and um, see what you got going for you. And that that's what you can do. Oh, wallpaper stores, racks and racks of wallpaper books. And those wallpaper books are worth money too. They're heavy to ship, but I can just tell you that. Um, run a 30% off sale on all listings over a year. I will still send, I would never run a 30% off sale on all listings just because they're over a year old. I have some stuff that's listed that I'm, it's just going to be the right sell, the right person that comes in. I have a, I have this vase right here. Right there.
I guarantee you I will not put this on a 30% off sale after it's been listed for a year because it just hasn't found the right person. I guarantee you I will not. And it's not bought. I, I got to get it packaged up because I'm going to break it. I guarantee you I will not put any of my Cambridge um, candelabras that I have listed on a 30% off sale just because it's been listed for a year. I absolutely will not. I'll mark the price up and then put it on a 30% off sale, but not at the price that it's listed at. I will not put a diamond and platinum ring that I have had um, appraised on a 30% off sale because it's been listed for over a year. So I won't, I won't do that. I won't do that. Me personally, not going to happen, especially with a collectible. And, and that's what I sell most of. You, yep, I do too. This item is meant to be a collectible and not for use after that. They can do what they want, eat, but eBay is happy. 100% Jody. And Jody, drop your link. Um, you guys got, you guys and gals, she is the most enjoyable person to watch. And she does little tiny videos about all kinds of toys. And if you want some good websites that are, are hard to find on toys and collectible toys, she has those two and lots of times links them in her video links. So if you're not following um, Jody, my girl Jody, she's across the bridge from me, then um, I don't, I can't help you out. <laughs> so that's all I can tell you on that story. But hopefully I helped you guys. Hopefully you can struggle through a different listing. Um, next week, we're going to talk about how, how you store your stuff. There you go, you guys. Right there. There you go. She's got, she's got backup. I got backup right here. <laughs> there you go. Courtney, see that? Mystery DA wants to get in on, on your video. I got it from Tina Lot. Do you have time for her to send it to you still? Thanks, Kim. She is amazing. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't have, she sent me a housewarming flowers and Dren a, a cake. I know that the cake was for both, both of us. Next week is Turkey Day. I don't care. I'm, you guys may be down at the beach, but I'm still going to be here. I bet there'll be people watching me because after a while, Turkey Day gets old. I'll be here. I'll be here next week. I'm, we're going to talk about what to do after you've listed your item. What are you going to do with it? Where are you going to put it? Are you going to use your custom SKU? And I should have showed you guys that and I didn't, but we'll go over that again. So that's what I'm going to talk about next week. If you can't be here, you can always watch the replay, right? Right? Let's see what she has to say about who's got a photo? Who's got a paperweight? You or LaDonna? You haven't sold it yet? All right. All right, you guys. Carrie, I haven't forgotten you if you're still here. And Hozaks are probably over on... Um, on Rachel's live. Um, so I haven't forgotten any of you guys. I know what you have, Carrie. It's, it's, it's a, if you're still here, I don't know if you are. Um, Desert fairy chicks. Thanksgiving is your favorite holiday. Always grateful. I love Thanksgiving, but um, Thanksgiving isn't really a holiday that I think a lot of people want to celebrate because it's kind of like right up there with Christopher Columbus Day, but we should be thankful for everything we have. Your SKU tells me when it was listed, where it's at, where and when I bought it, and how much I paid for it. Yes, sir. Because if you're a, if you guys go in and relist your items, if you end your items and sell similar every thirty days, then you'll you'll lose all that information. So you got to you need to put that in your SKU, and we'll talk about that next week. 
What's going on here? Got an amazing brooch today. Did, <laughs> I got an amazing Hagar piece yesterday. Did I show you guys that? Oh, I did. I showed it on Instagram. I was tootling down the holiday aisle getting um, tree skirts because if you guys don't know, tree skirts are amazing and they sell. And I looked up and I haven't been in a, in a Goodwill store and I can't even tell you how long. But yesterday I was just, yesterday I was lost in my head. So I just kind of wandered around and I looked up. And on the end cap, I saw this. It was down. And I was like, Ugh. I knew what it was. And so um, it is in amazing condition. There are absolutely no flaws, no chips, no nothing. And I picked it up and I saw it was 24. Let's, let's let the camera. $24.99. It was not on sale. Blue tag was the sale. And that it was Hagar. And even better, the original Hagar ticket right there. So because I do not use just eBay for my comps, this sold on first dibs on bid in April for $154. Yeah, $154. This exact one. Bye, Jody. Thanks for popping in. 24 bucks. I'm going to how many times my money? Heck yeah. <laughs> anyway, and then I want to, um, are you still here, Courtney? You've learned from your previous 24-hour live I <laughs> You need Sunday to recover. Oh, no, no joke. Um, Courtney did a video, a bolo video on um, Hallmark cards. And I think in one of her last videos that she put out, it sold for how much? No, was it Courtney? Terry, Mindful Recycle, just did a what sold video. And she has a set and Courtney did a video on this too. Um, do you have, can you drop the link for your, the, um, uh, Betsy Clark, the Hallmark Betsy Clark videos, uh, Christmas car cards, Terry mindful recycle. If you go to her channel and watch her last, what sold just sold a set of Betsy Clark Hallmark, um, a whole set, like the whole box set for right around $200, I think. So when I was at the bins, did I get these at the bins? No, I got these yesterday at the Goodwill store. If you guys don't know who Betsy Clark is, you want to know who Betsy Clark is. These are little tiny decoupaged wall hangings. These are Betsy Clark. This is her artwork. A lot of people think that her artwork is the same as... Um, it looks very similar to Precious Moments, but it's not. Um, so, yes, these things right here. And it was funny because the cashier, she goes, oh, are those um, Precious Moments? And I go, no, they're Betsy Clark. And she goes, oh, okay. Like, all right. Sell it. Sell it. List it and sell it. Right now is Christmas, Thanksgiving holiday time list it and sell it and stand firm on your price somebody will buy it don't don't be bullied around because you might not have a lot of of feedback and a good way to get a lot of feedback is to buy little tiny things that you might go somewhere else and buy you know um buy some wrapping paper buy buy some socks buy some little things that you need and don't buy five things from one store. Does that make sense? And but um, and then make sure you leave them feedback too. I don't leave feedback anymore unless somebody leaves feedback for me. I absolutely do not. 
Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. Anyway, you guys go learn about Betsy Clark because when you're in some of those thrift stores and they have lots and lots and lots of greeting cards, you want to know who she is because one Betsy Clark greeting card, let's go here. Let's just go on eBay. This is for one card used <laughs> glitter hearts. This is what somebody's asking, mind you. Vintage Betsy Clark Valentine cut-out greeting card, 1982. Glitter used hearts. That means it's used. This is just for one card. And that's starting bid. This is a bid. So if we, if we just go back out here to Betsy Clark, make sure I'm sharing. These are just things that people have posted. Here's, oh, I bet you, ooh, 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 I bet you Terry's, uh, <laughs> bet you Terry's thing is here. Oh my goodness. Those are some, all right, let's Betsy Clark. Let's go to, let's go up here. Betsy Clark. Vintage Betsy Clark Hallmark Stationery Writing Letter Set Treetops, $797. I hope you're still watching, Terry, because maybe you should have auctioned yours off. Uh, <laughs> this is no joke. This this is this is no joke right here. I, 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 I know who you're talking about, Kathy, but I can't tell you the name of her right now. I went to an estate sale a couple about a month ago with the, there were a bunch of those, but and so this was great GBP, so that's a UK so global shipping program seven hundred and ninety seven dollars and eighty nine cents plus shipping forty four dollars and eighty two cents expedited shipping. So this is from the UK to us here. That's crazy, but that's what you're going to get with Betsy Clark. So I, I would strongly suggest this is just a fold out stand up greeting card. One card. This is called ephemera. <laughs> not that I think any of you are stupid because you're not. This is for one card. $225, seven bids. How do we know that, that this got paid for? You go right here. You copy that. You go right here to their feedback, 743. You go right here and you paste that. For that exact one, she hasn't gotten feedback yet, but there was a lot of feedback. Oop. She sold a lot of other Betsy Clark stuff. And I saw something else in here that said Betsy Clark or so I thought. Now I could go to, let's go back here. What did it say? $225. I can go right here to my eBay. I can go to research. I can go to Terra Peak product research. I can dump that title in there. I can hit research and I can come right down here and looky there. It got paid for October 27th. I wonder if this was her too. There was two of them. Uh, I mean, they're not exactly the same one. So def definitely different different ways that you can look and see. Um, but anyway, keep your eyes out. There's your extra bolo for, I always give you something to look for. Um, go watch Courtney's video on this.
go watch um, Terry Mindful Recycle. She is a bolo finder. Um, she sold a sweater in there that she that she and I looked at and looked up. I didn't buy it because I'd gotten so much free at that place that I couldn't even deal with buying anymore. It, uh, that same video where she, this last one that Courtney dumped the, um, the link in. Um, so anyway, there you go. Betsy Clark. There's a couple of other different Hallmark uh, artists, but Betsy Clark is is your highest one. And this right here, seeing all, a lot of 88 vintage greeting cards, I would buy those for $139 because then I would turn around and do this. Okay. You can source right off of eBay easily. These ones right here, this these ones right here, <clears throat> it's the whole writing letter set. You could take this item right here. Let's, let's check it out. If you can't get out to source, you could take this whole item right here and you could take one sheet of paper and one envelope and you could sell them separately like that. And they'll have to wait because, <laughs> because she's still selling pine cones. You go, Kathy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You make me laugh. Never cut your nose off despite your face. Use caution. For sure. All right, you guys. Yep. Did you start the auction high? You can also Google image search for people who have missed. Yes. Yes. Not, not only Google image search, but they typed in uh, maybe, they, maybe they were talking while they were typing like I do. <laughs> so you could do, maybe they spell Betsy wrong or, um, or you could just put, um, did I spell Betsy wrong? I bet I did. I spelled it wrong the first time because it's B E T. Anyway, you could put, um, I want to say cards. Um, I think she did the seventies 17. See what comes up. I, I I would absolutely have sold. The, oh wow, eighty five dollars or best offer, you guys. Uh, that. How do you know if they're Betsy Clark? Well, you can screenshot. I'm ans I'm asking questions and answering them myself, right? Lots of times it will have her signature down in here. And sometimes it'll say down in here. They did a good job taking pictures of this to get all of this. And um, sometimes it won't have it on there at all. Lots of times most Betsy Clark will have a signature somewhere down in here. So remove that so that you guys can see. Um, You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll do fine. If it doesn't sell on auction, you can always list it as a buy it now with a higher price, right? Yeah, there you go. I don't know what they're doing outside there, but something noisy. Anyway, Betsy Clark, you guys. So just, just, just like that. Um, anything that you may be looking for, they, um, here's a vintage Hallmark Betsy Clark, my favorite recipe book binder. Somebody might want to go get that 1970s open box. What? My favorite recipes. Holy moly. Somebody may want to go buy that. Anybody you want me to drop the link in the, 
<laughs> the description for you. Um, I, I, I think that that could be a lot more money. This is something that somebody may want to go buy right there. There's the title because I'm surprised it's still there. There's lots of, let's see where it says her name. If she's got it on here, lots of times it's right. It'll be like right somewhere here. She will have signed it. But see these little girls, see that head, that pointy head. Let's go. This should be selling for way more, don't you think, Courtney? No, I I'm at I I rent a shop. Let's see where's the back of this book. Betsy Clark right there, see it you guys. 1968. You got a bid. She's got a bid. She's got a bid, Courtney. I, I would have listed this for more like $189. Because these cards go with it. Just saying, there you go. If anybody wants to go buy something and, and raise the price up. And it's a learning experience. So. All right, you guys. I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Go out and find some cool stuff. If you need any help, text me. I'll help you. I know I'll get back to you, Carrie and, and Renee. Anyway, so, all right. I will talk to you later. Thanks for hanging with me and go sub up all those people that I commented, talked about and T auctions for you and Donatella Bottolino and you can get some amazing stuff from them uh, at their sales. All right. Good night, everybody.